Welcome to the PeopleSoft Requisition Processing video tutorial. In order to proceed, we recommend that you have previously viewed the PeopleSoft System Overview tutorial. You should have a copy of the PeopleSoft Requisition Processing Training Manual handy for reference and making notes. This course provides a brief coverage of requisition processing and structure, as well as creating and submitting requisitions for approval. Upon completion of this course, participants will Understand the requisition process and structure. Be able to create and express requisition. Be able to make changes to the account string at individual line level. Correct BCM errors. Be able to cancel a requisition. Let's go to PeopleSoft so we can create and express requisition. Here's the navigation. Go. Administer procurement. Requisition items. Use. Express requisitions. Express requisition. Add. Business Unit 10199 will automatically default and the requisition ID of Next will appear. Do not change any information in this window. The system will automatically assign a requisition number once it is saved. Click OK to continue. The Express Requisition panel allows simple entry of the most desired data while eliminating the need to navigate to several panels within the standard requisition panel group. The result is a faster and more efficient requisition entry. It is divided into three sections, header, account distribution, and line item information section. In the header section, the requester will default to your name. Click the green flashlight to look up a vendor. On the search criteria panel, at name, with caps lock key depressed, enter vendor's name or part of the name. An important tip. Use the percent sign wildcard search character before or after the vendor name to search for any vendor with the keyword in the name. Click Sparky the dog to the right to populate the related vendors in the search results section below. After locating the vendor, select the vendor by clicking the green check mark. This will take you back to the Express Rec panel with vendor information populated to the right of the green flashlight. If you are unable to find the vendor using the search criteria, Enter New Vendor in the Name field in capital letters and click Sparky to search. Select the New Vendor Selection Vendor 35372. The new vendor information must then be entered in the Rec Header Comments panel. This will be used by purchasing when creating the new vendor in the system. Click the Express Requisition tab to continue entering the requisition. Clicking the Hold checkbox will prevent further processing of the requisition. This will exclude the requisition from the nightly batch process or any manual processes. No further processing will occur until the hold is unchecked. Select the buyer's name for this field by using the drop-down arrow, hitting F4 or double-clicking on the open field. The location, ship to, due date, and accounting date will automatically populate. Copy from button allows users to copy details of another requisition. Account data entered in the Account Distribution section will apply to all the ordering line items entered on the Express Requisition panel. All accounts used should be valid and have sufficient funds to cover the requisition. Please use the Site Budget Inquiry panel to check account validity and available balance. Enter the account string starting with Fund, then tab to Resource, Goal, Function, Object, and School Location. If you are using multiple accounts, make sure to use the appropriate percentage. To add another account string, use the F7 function key or the insert row icon. To delete a line, use the F8 function key or delete row icon. Make sure the percentage equals 100. The use of speed charts is available to accommodate the consistent use of account information. To do this, click the down arrow at Distribute By Field. Select A for Distribute by Amount by double-clicking it, then press the Tab key. Put a check on the Speed Chart checkbox. The Speed Chart selection box will appear. Enter the Speed Chart code or click the down arrow to select the Speed Chart to use for this line's distribution. Then press the Tab key to populate the account distribution line. After the account information has been populated, go back to the Distribute By field to change the entry from A back to Q, then press the Tab key. In the Line Item Details section, 
Each line of the requisition represents an item to be purchased and relates to the account information previously entered. Enter the description by typing into the field or using the magnifying glass. Enter the unit of measure by typing into the field or to select it, you can press the F4 function key or double click the field to bring up valid values. For category, use only categories that start with an asterisk for non-asset, AA for asset items, and CO for construction. Other categories should not be used. It is important to note that the category code selected must match the object code used in the account distribution. Enter the quantity and the price. The amount will be calculated by the system. The total value of the requisition must meet a $75 minimum in order for the requisition to be processed by purchasing. Please note, we recommend to always save your requisition after entering the first line and make note of the requisition ID. This will alleviate the burden of having to recreate the entire requisition in the case of system interruption. Now let's save the requisition by clicking the Save icon. If you are entering multiple items, use the F7 function key or Insert Row icon to add a new line. To delete a line, use the F8 function key or the Delete Row icon. System limitation requires that there should be no more than 40 lines in a requisition. Sales tax and delivery shipping charges should not be included on requisitions as separate line items because those lines will not be sourced and eventually keep the pre-encumbrance from being liquidated until the fiscal year end. If you would like to include these charges in the requisition in order to encumber the amount, you may do so by adding this amount into the line amount already noted. Delivery fee or sales tax can also be added in the comments section of the header or the line. Those charges will be added when the requisitions are sourced into POs by purchasing. Once you have finished entering your entire order, run the edit process. Click on Sparky the dog to check the progress. During the refresh process, a series of messages may appear to indicate the progress. When the process edit is complete, the budget check BCM icon becomes active. Click on the BCM icon to validate the account string and budget funds. In the case that your requisition does not pass budget check, you can change the account string from the express requisition. First, let's view the BCM error. Here is the navigation. Use budget control exceptions. In this example, the budget checking line status indicated F, org budget data not found, which means the account is not valid or does not exist in the current fiscal year. You can also encounter K, insufficient organization bud, which means there are not enough funds to cover the cost of the requisition. Please contact your accountant. A budget adjustment may need to be processed. You may check the account by using Site Budget Inquiry Panel. For further instruction on the Site Budget Inquiry, please see our Site Budget Inquiry training video. If you are unable to resolve the error on your own, please contact Internal System Support and we will assist you. To make a correction on the account string, go to the line and click on the Details icon. Enter the correct account and click OK. A window will pop up indicating that the edit process needs to be run again. Run edit process. Check the progress by clicking on Sparky the dog. When the process edit is complete, the budget check BCM icon becomes active. Click on the BCM icon. Once the edits have been processed on this requisition, you can add attachments to the requisition. Before attaching any soft copy documents to the requisition, please see Attaching Soft Copy Documents to a Requisition section of the manual to ensure your security and setup are correct before proceeding. If all settings are correct, click the Attachments tab from the Express Requisition panel. The directory where you will save any documents including Word, Excel, and PDF files only should be C. LACO. Click the List Documents icon, which will list all available files within that directory. Select the documents to attach by clicking the checkbox in the Attach column. Click the Save Refresh Documents button. This will move the selected files from the right hand side to the left hand side of the panel, which shows what is attached to the requisition. To remove any documents attached to the requisition, 
click the checkbox in the Remove column and press the Save Refresh Documents button. This will remove the selected files from the left-hand side and from the requisition. Once all updates to the requisition are complete, click the Print icon. This opens Adobe Acrobat Reader and you can print the document by clicking the printer icon. Now send for approval by clicking the Send Rec for Approval icon. If you would like to check the approval status, you may do so by going to the Approval History panel. Here is the navigation. Go. Administer Procurement. Requisition Items. Inquire. District Requisition Details. Rec Approval History. The Rec Approval History panel lists the approvers, approved by, level, approval date, days in inbox, status, and comments. In the event that a requisition has been denied or the workflow has been reset, an email notice is automatically sent to the requester alerting him or her of this occurrence. Once the changes have been made to the said requisition, the user is required to go to the work list panel to avoid receiving the same daily email notice. Here is the navigation. Go. LACO Workflow Approvals. Use. Work list. Requisition. Select the proper requisition and check the corresponding worked checkbox and save. You can make changes to a requisition after it has been successfully edited and budget checked, if it has been denied by the designated approver, or if it has been rejected by purchasing. However, changes can only be made using the standard requisition panel, since the express requisition panel cannot be used after the requisition has successfully passed BCM. For example, you can change the account string using the standard requisition panel. Here is the navigation. Go. Administer procurement. Requisition items. Use. Requisitions. Requisition schedule. Update display. Enter the requisition ID and click OK. Click on the Schedule Detail icon. In the Schedule Detail panel, right mouse click on the Status field Open to bring up the Cancel Distribution Line option. Click the Cancel Distribution Line option and the message below will appear. Click Yes to continue. Click OK if the message below is received. The status of line should change from Open to Cancelled. Press the F7 key to insert a new line. Enter the new account information. Click OK and then Save. Then go to the Header Comments panel and rerun the Edit and BCM processes. Then resend for approval. You can also cancel a requisition line after the requisition has been successfully edited and budget checked. Here's the navigation. Go. Administer procurement. Requisition items. Use. Requisitions. Requisition form. Update display. Enter the requisition ID and click OK. Go to the desired line to cancel and click the line details button. Now click on the red X cancel button. Once the necessary lines have been canceled, save the requisition. Saving the requisition initiates the edit process. Make sure the edit process is completed before running budget check and sending for approval. Once the edit process is completed, post document will show why. The entire requisition may only be canceled if it is successfully passed budget check and no lines have been sourced into a purchase order. Here is the navigation. Go. Administer procurement. Requisition items. Use. Requisitions. Requisition form. Update display. From the requisition form tab, Click on the Status drop-down menu and change the status to Cancelled. Cancelling a rec will commit any changes made and prevent further changes. Continue. Click Yes. This concludes the PeopleSoft requisition processing training. By logging into the LACO employee intranet, you can find additional PeopleSoft training videos, 
in-class instruction scheduling, and user manuals. You can view our schedule of classes on the calendar by choosing ISS Training from the list of categories on the staff calendar. Additional training videos and user manuals can be found by clicking on Business Services, then Internal System Support from the navigation menu. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please feel free to contact Internal System Support. You can reach us by emailing iss at laco.edu. Thank you.